Now, Cancers, I am doing reading for the cardinal signs here. Cancer, Capricorn, Aries, Libra. I'm going to move these out of the way. As a cardinal sign, you folks are like the trendsetters. You are the idea people, okay? Um, I'm sure some of you have experienced people like taking ideas from you because, you know, you guys are really, really on it. You're very innovative, okay? So let's get into this reading for you. All the signs are having their own challenges coming up here, going through Pluto, this transit, uh, not to mention the globe, right? So um, what I have coming in for you, Cancers, I'm just going to stick this back here. What I have coming in for you, Cancers, is a um, Three of Cups, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. That's interesting. And in what the place you don't see is the hangman. Okay, so I see that there were a lot of celebrations here. Um, and it doesn't have to be necessarily around a bunch of people, but I believe that you guys have been celebrating with a tribe of some sort, okay? Um, yeah, I, I see a lot of like deep, deep inner work here that has brought your intuition and brought your gifts like into this like level up, level up, right? Um, I feel like you guys are really tuned into your intuition. I know as, as water signs, you know, you're highly intuitive and empathic anyway, but I feel like this has been kind of magnanimous for you. I don't think that you have significantly realized the opportunities that you have here for you. Like you're not even, you're not even seeing the possibilities here, Cancer. And um, I, I relate to that, right? Like sometimes you can get so caught up in the work or so caught up in what's going on that you forget to step back and look at the bigger picture here. And spirit wants you to understand um, that a period of reflection is needed, you know, uh, to step back and kind of strategize a little bit about how you're moving forward. Now, it's interesting because the card in the potential future here is that you are moving forward in a very balanced way. So this shows me that you know exactly what I'm talking about. I do feel like you're going to go into a period of reflection here. You know, I always say it's like, you know, work smarter, not harder. It's one of those kind of things. And I think with some of the water signs, you get wrapped up in these emotions and it can be a little bit difficult to... Um, find that clarity of structure of like earthly, you know, like a the, um, temporal structure here. Like, how am I going to do this? I know what I want to do. How am I going to get there? Okay. Understand that this will bring in significant opportunity for you. I feel it's also about embracing your gifts here. Okay. I do feel like there is some sort of passion project or something that's being offered by the universe here that is going to catapult you. Notice how you go straight into a 10 of cups, right? It's not the three, it's not the four, it's not the five, six, it is a 10. Um, I feel like you guys really understand what I'm talking about here. Yeah, we've got a three of pentacles. We have sunshine. You could have a Leo or Leo in your chart. Um, this is significant victory here. Not only do you have it in the relationship card here, but you also have it in spiritual health and wealth as well as financial health and wealth. Um, gonna ask, just give me a couple more. Yeah, I feel like I, what I am seeing here is, see, we've got this again. This is double verification here. There's something that you're not seeing. So let's ask about this Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so whether you have gone through some sort of a tower moment or are going to be going through some sort of a tower moment, okay, we can clarify this. It is your strengths. You know, um, sometimes the water signs get in those emotions and they start really doing a lot of this like negative thinking stuff, right? They don't realize, uh, they, they're looking at all the things that could go wrong. It's, it's the monkey brain. We all have it, right? And what I see, okay, 
is it's just like a it's like flipping a switch that this is the opportunity to see your strengths again i feel i'm, I'm hearing like cataloging them right like sit down and write a list and you know maybe yeah there's a lot of emotion around this sit down and write a list um and figure out exactly you know like what makes you happy right how does that translate into a skill set that you have okay um, I feel like there's been a stoppage in the flow because, because of this. There's, you know, you could be processing emotions or feelings or, you know, um, doing a lot of clearing right now. Check out the guided meditation playlist on my channel. There's one free meditation there, 52 minutes long. Please make sure that you are ready to participate fully. Uh, there's an opening, sacred space. We do a lot of identifying, clearing with respect obviously, and uh, gratitude, and it will help you to clear energy that's not yours. And it'll teach you a little bit about how to create that sacred space to do that. I do see you getting very happy here. Okay, I do see you making movement. Um, I'm going to ask about Yeah, you know, I hear spirits. Oh, wow. I hear spirits saying like one step at a time. Just go one step at a time. Like healing is a journey, not an event, right? This is a wish fulfillment. This was a regeneration for you, okay? Here is you coming from this hangman, coming back out into the world here with all of this wisdom and knowledge. And I feel like, um, yeah, there we go. This is an opportunity for you. This is telling you right now, we've had two towers come out in your reading. This is about you recognizing what do I need to purge? What is no longer serving me here? That Because I feel like that's kind of holding you back. Okay. I'm pulling a karma card for you. While I'm doing that, while I'm shuffling these, this ring keeps falling off my finger here. Um, make sure you check out the description box, the intro to astrology book that's there to download. Lots of great graphics. I actually drew them. Um, there's printables. There is definitions. Anything you need to have a basic understanding of your natal chart is in that document. Okay. Uh, and there's links to get reputable natal charts. All right. We've got seeking oneness with all there is, philanthropy, keep your movement hidden in the 12th house. It'd be interesting to see what planet you have in the 12th house. Because you guys are the trend centers and the innovators, a lot of times I mentioned this at the beginning of the reading that you'll be talking to somebody and somebody that's in a different position takes your idea and runs with it. And you're like, oh my God, I was going to do that. And wow, right? Um, so... Make sure that you are not, like you're not laying all your cards on the table here. There are people out there that don't always have our best interest at, at heart, right? Or they don't even understand what they're doing, okay? They don't understand the amount of like blood, sweat, and tears that goes into creating these ideas to receiving the downloads, right? The care that it takes, okay? I also have um, defend, accept, let your feelings tell you how to, moon, which is what we had out there. So you're being called out to really listen to your heart right now, but to also use your brain. Okay. Yeah, I've got ancient wisdom here. I've got honoring your energy. Um, and I've got omens. You could be seeing signs around this. Again, you've got these two. <coughs> excuse me. You've got these two tower cards. Let's ask specifically what this looks like. Thank you, Spirit. What does Cancer need to know, please, about these power cards? Okay, so I've got a Queen of Cups, I've got the Five of Wands, and I've got the Three of Swords. This is your energy, Cancer, okay? You're so full of love. Out of all of the, you know, zodiac signs, you guys are like masters at love, right? Um, and once you realize how, it's, how to be healthy about it, you're just awesome at it, okay? 
Um, I see that this is conflict that's happening around you. All right. Like you might be trying to move forward and there might be conflict that's happening around you that could lead to some kind of a betrayal or something, which is what I was talking about before. Okay. Which is why they're telling you to keep some of your movements hidden. I'm going to ask. Let's ask about this five of wands, please. Okay, I have a two of pentacles coming out. And a ton of swords, wow. You guys could be presented with some kind of a decision here. I know a lot of, because um, I've been you know, doing your readings for years, right? I know a lot of you um, have gone through like relationship issues. And uh, some of you have been waiting for like reunions. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there talking about twin flame stuff. Um, I feel like you might have to make a decision here. And I feel like this battle was, was hard fought here. And I feel like even with opportunities, you have to decide what's best for you. Yeah, we have the King of Cups here. You're going to have to, somebody out there is going to have to decide whether to focus on themselves and continue to focus on themselves Okay, right? Or to shift their focus a little bit and possibly, um, this is about, okay, this is really about who you're going to include with you as you step forward here. Okay, we talked about purging. This is about who are you including in this, okay? Okay. Who are you including in this new uh, this new path forward here? Um, yeah, they're telling you to take care of yourself here. I've also got clean it up on the bottom of the deck. This is about um, understanding that you just need to stay in your own peace and let people do what they're doing. I think the decision that you have to make here is that you've been juggling a lot of things and you're going to have to decide what's best for you moving forward. It's, it doesn't matter what anybody else is doing here. Okay, again, that five of wands is peripherally around you. I see creativity. I see struggle and a burden. Okay, and you know, the choice is always yours. I've also got stripping illusions here. Okay, and I've got joy coming out as well. So I feel like it is kind of this purging that's happening. Those two towers are really about you deciding what you want in your life, what is worthy to be in your life, no matter what form it shows up in, whether it's a situation, whether it's an energy, whether it's a person, whether it's a tribe, right? What fits in your life? What aligns with you? What makes you feel good? What makes... Uh, what makes common sense, right? It's a balance, okay? I've got transformation as your activity card here, or your activate card. I am constantly evolving. I improve inwardly by working on my weaknesses and refining my strengths because every weakness you have is a strength once you understand it, okay? Life ensures I'm presented with situations that will help me learn and grow. I am aware of my progress and open my wings to the light. Notice all the heart space. It's just all about the heart here. And I feel like there's been a lot of healing going on for you. Okay, so let's take some of this out here and look back. Okay, because this can be a little overwhelming. We've talked about a lot of things here. Right? What you need to remember as you're going through this process, okay, is that the basic reading we had here for you, right, showed these victories, showed the sunlight coming out, this Ten of Pentacles, this Ten of Cups, okay? Things might get a little bit complicated if you let them. So it's really about tuning in, aligning, staying in that heart space so that you know, again, you can honor your energy here, right? This is, this, it's, what, <laughs> Spirit is trying to say it's time for you, okay? It's time for you to, to understand what's best for you, okay? What brings you peace, 
okay? What does that look like for you? And there has to be a way where you can do what you need to do and still be your loving, warm self, right? Okay, but also seek oneness with all there is, right? Um, and also like still be in a place where where you can do what you feel like you need to do for others. I really feel like that conflict has to do with other people, okay? Anyway, check out my store. I got a couple new designs up there, the description box, the offerings. Take good care of yourselves, Cancer. All right, take good care of each other and as always, be kind out there.